Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to take a look at lookups. And we're going to take a look at what happens when we click on a lookup in D365 and Power Apps and what we can do to change that default behavior and specifically what we can do to use the new modal forms in 2020 release wave one in order to help us to uh, uh, make the experience a little more user friendly. So let's dive into this. So what I have up on the screen here is I have an account record in D365 and this is running uh, 2020 release wave one. So we can see here on this account record we have this currency field and the currency field uh, we can see it's US dollar if I hover over this and so if I click into this field what's going to happen is it's going to take me over to this uh, currency record and away from the account record right so that's kind of annoying because you know what if I'm uh, in the middle of looking at my account or I'm creating a new account uh, and I enter this in and I just wanted to see some attributes on this currency record you know like let's say I just wanted to make sure it has uh, two decimal places for example um, or it's a dollar sign right something something whatever the you know attributes are specific for this record um, you know I can't really do that at the moment because when I click on it it takes me all the way over here right so let me click the back button and this takes us back to the uh, to the account record uh, you know so obviously there's different ways that you could get around this natively like if I hold down the uh, control key for example and I uh, click the uh, currency then we can see here what's happened is it's opened up the currency record in a new tab in my browser right um, so that's a nice quick easy way to just get around this sure no problem so one thing that we can do here instead of doing the control click is we can implement modal forms so that uh, when a user clicks on this currency it's going to open up the uh, currency record in the modal form overlaying the account record right and I've done some videos in the past about modal forms so uh, check those out if you get a chance so uh, let's go ahead and, and look at how we can imp implement this so what's uh, a cool feature of the uh, 2020 release wave one is this add on lookup tag click event okay um, and so this is in the Microsoft documentation so it's a new client API uh, event here and uh, we can see that it's on lookups and uh, this is the syntax uh, so you're basically taking the form context getting your control which is the lookup and then you're adding uh, this event to it and uh, you will basically uh, pass a function name so when the event is uh, occurs it will call your function and then uh, you'll be able to uh, do whatever you want to within that function right and we can see here that the function uh, takes the execution context as the first parameter and what's interesting here is uh, we get this event args right so um, the event args is useful because it uh, actually gives us some information about the record that was clicked and it also allows us to uh, prevent the default action that would occur if the record was clicked uh, normally right so the uh, the normal action that happens as we saw is when you click on one of these records it takes the user to a to that record in a, as a new page basically um, so we can call a prevent default on that to actually prevent the user from going to that page and then we can basically implement our own code um, that will run instead and uh, in our own code what we can do is we can pop this modal okay so this is the first thing that we're going to use um, and then the second thing that we're going to use and this is what I covered in previous videos is the navigate to so um, we take a quick look at this uh, the XRM navigation navigate to and we can pass in some objects here um, but the, the 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 good thing about this is that we can uh, open up modal forms with this and uh, so for example if we look at example three here uh, what it's doing is it's opening up an account record 
specifying some some height and width details and it's basically uh, opening that up as a modal form okay so let's go ahead and look at how we can implement this uh, on this currency record so the first thing we'll want to do is uh, head over to make.paraps.com and let's select our environments and we're going to go over to entities and we will select the account entity and uh, let's make some changes there so I'm going to click on account and I'm going to click on forms um, because we will be making some changes to the account form all right I'll click uh, account main form to open up here all right great now I'm going to switch over to classic all right now let's go to form properties and we will add a script on the uh, onload of uh, this account form. So I'm going to click add up here to add a new script. And let's click new. We'll create a new script. And I'm going to call this uh, account onload. And same thing here. And we'll make this a J script. And let's click edit. All right, so we, we can add some code in here. I'm going to flip over to uh, Visual Studio Code to do this uh, because it's a nicer environment to develop in. So uh, what we want to do is we want to first create a script that will run um, on the onload that will register our new event, okay? So I'm going to create a new function, and let's call this uh, run on load. And we're going to be receiving the execution context from uh, the form so we'll be uh, hitting that checkbox that we'll see in a second and so we'll get that execution context coming in and then from here we want to get the uh, form context okay so the form context is the execution context and we're going to do a get form context here and that's going to give us the form context okay so that's the first part of this um, now we want to basically uh, get our uh, lookup and then add the event to it okay so the lookup is called uh, transaction currency ID and I'm just gonna create a new variable and put it in there just to make this a little more generic I'm gonna call this a uh, lookup name and let's just call it transaction currency ID okay so there's our field um, and now let's add the event to it so we're gonna do a form context and we will uh, do a get control here and uh, we're going to get the uh, lookup here so I'm going to put the lookup name and then this is where our new um, uh, event comes in so if we flip back over to here let's take a look at this one so this is the one we're adding now okay so I can just go ahead and copy this and let's go back and add it like so okay cool all right and instead of calling my function here what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna call a function right here and this is the function that uh, gives us the context and um, and the uh, event args right so with this one we're gonna call a um, let's call a new function that we're gonna create uh, we'll call that on lookup click so I'm gonna do on lookup click here and I'm gonna pass in this uh, context here okay all right so that's registered our event um, next thing is uh, our function for on lookup click so I'm gonna add this and let's we're passing in the context here and um, so the first thing we'll want to do is a uh, prevent default right so the prevent default means that it's not going to execute the d365 code that it normally would when you click on the lookup okay so we want to prevent that from happening so we're going to do a con context dot get event args and we'll do a prevent default here okay great so if we ran this what would happen is nothing would happen um, which is good right if the user clicks on the lookup it just wouldn't do anything it wouldn't take the user to the other page and it wouldn't actually do anything else okay so uh, that's the first part of it now the second part of it is um, actually popping that modal right so um, with the event args we can get uh, some some interesting things so let's flip back over to the documentation and take a look at what we can get here so if I click on the on lookup tag click event here 
um, we can see here that there is uh, this get tag value and that has the name of the uh, what was clicked in the lookup we get the ID we get the entity type we get the field name okay so we get all this information coming back when we actually do the click on the lookup right so that's the one that we want there um, let's flip back to our code and we're going to create a new variable here called tag value and we're going to basically copy this um, and then we're going to do a get tag value okay so now inside our tag value we have um, the name the ID uh, the other fields that we saw in the documentation so um, all we really need from there is the ID uh, because we know that we are opening up a uh, transaction currency record um, so let's go ahead now and uh, we'll build out the opening of the modal dialog okay so now if we flip back to the documentation let's take a look at the navigate to and we can see here that uh, this is actually the one that we want um, example two we're going to open an existing entity record with a within a dialogue right so I'm just going to copy this and flip back to my code and then just paste this in here okay so what this tells us is um, you know we're passing in this page input and uh, the entity name here so you know we want to change this to transaction currency so that's the type of record that we're opening the entity ID we're going to change this um, so obviously that's going to come from the one that we've clicked and so we can just simply do this grab the ID like so from the tag value okay um, this these navigation options here we're just going to keep those as the defaults but you know we can see here that it's opening up uh, a modal form at 80% of the uh, height and 70% uh, of the width right so that's fine we'll keep that like that and then it's just going to execute this so we can get uh, we can get a success and an error callback if we want to implement that okay so um, so that looks like it's it's about it that's all we need really we've copied uh, two pieces of code from the Microsoft documentation and just added our um, our uh, lookup field here right so I'm gonna copy this and let's put it into our JavaScript uh, in D365 okay and we will be uh, calling this run on load so I'm gonna copy that click OK uh, let's go ahead and save this and let's go and publish it okay so now we're registered all right okay now I'm gonna click add and let's wire this up so I'll click add here and we want the account on load and we want to call the run on load here and I'm gonna pass the execution context as the first parameter all right it's done let's click OK let's save and publish this form now all right now let's go over to the account and try this out I'm gonna hit a 5 to refresh this okay that's loaded let's go click on the details tab and we have the currency okay I'm gonna click on the currency now and that's it right so we see that it's US dollar that's uh, that's actually loaded here um, it's open the modal form uh, with the uh, height and width specified and you know the user can see this now and they can just uh, X out of this right um, you know let's try this with a different currency quick so if I select for example uh, Canadian dollars here okay so the users decided to select Canadian dollars and now they want to see some more details about it so if they click uh, on the Canadian dollar symbol what's gonna happen is it opens up this Canadian dollar record now right so that's it that's how you do this uh, hopefully you found that useful thanks for watching so that's it guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com thank you